PianoKeyboardGuy.com In this lesson, we will take a look at the grand staff, bass staff, treble staff, bass clef, treble clef, and left hand C position. By the way, these are examined in even more detail in other lessons. So be sure to subscribe to this channel to stay posted. You can search this channel or visit pianokeyboardguide.com for more. Let's start with the treble clef. The treble clef is a symbol which indicates that the second line from the bottom of the staff represents the pitch G above middle C. This clef is also called the G clef because of the fact that it circles the G line on the treble staff. The treble staff consists of five lines and four spaces. Every line or space represents a Y key on your keyboard. The lines on the treble clef represent the notes E, G, B, D, F. A good way to remember this is with the phrase, every good boy does fine. Lines are counted from the bottom to the top of the staff. The bottom line is the first line and the top line is the fifth. The notes for the spaces of the treble clef are F, A, C, E. Clearly, it spells the word face and is easy to remember. The four spaces are counted from the bottom to the top of the staff. On piano, notes of the treble clef are normally played with the right hand. Let's now turn our attention to the bass clef. The bass clef is a symbol indicating that the fourth line from the bottom of the staff represents the pitch of F below middle C. It is also called the F clef because of the fact that it has two dots above and below the fourth line. Like the treble staff, the bass staff consists of five lines and four spaces. Every line or space represents a white key on your keyboard. The lines on the bass clef represent the notes G, B, D, F, A. A good way to remember this is with the phrase Good boys do fine always. Lines are counted from the bottom to the top of the staff. The bottom line is the first line and the top line is the fifth. The notes for the spaces of the bass clef are A, C, E, G. A good way to remember this is with the phrase all cows eat grass. Again, the spaces are counted from the bottom to the top of the bass staff. On piano, notes of the bass clef are normally played with the left hand. When put together, the treble staff and bass staff make up the grand staff. A grand staff is a treble staff and bass staff joined together by a brace. In the center of the grand staff, you will find the note middle C. Middle C is located on a ledger line above the bass staff and below the treble staff. Lastly, Let's take a look at the left hand C position. In lesson 2, we talked about the right hand C position. 
Let's do this exercise with the left hand. Place your fifth finger or little finger on the C to the left of middle C. Place finger four, your ring finger, on D. D is the key to the immediate right of C. Place finger three, your middle finger, on E. Next, finger two, your index finger, goes on F. Lastly, place finger one, your thumb, on G. Now, play the following numbered pattern one finger at a time. Five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> My name is Mancha Skazabo, creator of PianoKeyboardGuide.com. Visit PianoKeyboardGuide.com for a lot more. There are hundreds of lessons on this site. Subscribe to this channel as well, because I will bring you free piano lessons on a continual basis. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Thank you. PianoKeyboardGuide.com